guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i created this look i was finally able to get my hands on the dare to create 39a palette by morphe it is so gorgeous like just the whole packaging is just beautiful like i'm obsessed with it with the outer packaging i like that it's matte black and then it has like this lipstick it has a like gold I then this is what it looks like in the inside and it comes like a little sheet to tell you uh, the names of the eyeshadows so I think it's pretty neat I am like completely in love and impressed with this eyeshadow palette I'm so glad I finally was able to get it so yeah guys so if you want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching alright guys so I am going to start off with my eyes I'm not sure what look I'm going for but I'm really excited because I get to use I get to use um, something that I've been wanting to buy and I finally bought it. Um, I had made a list of all the makeup that I want to buy this year, which is a lot. It's a lot. But I, for Christmas, uh, like I said in my what I got for Christmas video, I got a $25 gift card to Ulta. And with that, I was able to purchase what I wanted. And I had like $11 for the points. So that was like, what, $35, $36. So I was able to buy this right here, which is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A eyeshadow, 39A eyeshadow palette. And I was also able to get this right here. I got three of them. Don't know why, but I got three of them. And I'm really excited to try it out. Um, Yeah, I also bought some other makeup. I recently bought, I went on the e.l.f. Cosmetics Um website they released a bunch of new stuff they released a freaking glitter mask and i've been wanting to try the one from Too faced but it's expensive and the name i just don't really like the name and then from glam glow they are so expensive as well so when i saw that they had released a mask face mask with glitter on it i was like heck yeah and it was only eight dollars so and then i bought some other stuff with it as well and um i did go on and buy the kylie cosmetics the blue honey palette Yes, and two of her new Velvet singles, so I'm really excited. I'm going to obviously review that on my channel, let you guys know what I think about them. If the formula has changed on any of them, I'm really excited to see and find out. So that's going to come up soon, whenever it ships and, you know, it gets to my house. Um, uh, yeah, so let's start. So what was I going to do? I had it in my hand. Okay, so I'm going to go in and prime my eyelids using this right here which is the smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer i haven't used this in a while i don't usually use shadow primer but i kind of want to use it today where is my mirror there you are i do want to use it today all right so i'm going to take some of this on my finger you know if it comes out there you go So I'm never sure about this if I have to set eyeshadow primer, but I do it. I should probably like Google it and like find out, figure it out, you know. Do I set eyeshadow primer because Jennifer don't know. But um, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now moving on to the fun part. This right here. I'm really excited because I don't know where to begin. But these colors are just so freaking beautiful. Like, like seeing it in person is just even better. Like, the only downside is that this. I would have preferred that the names were on the palette itself. But it's fine, I guess. Like, I could... I mean, it won't kill me to have it. I was thinking maybe, like, I could, like, write the names of the shadows on the on the palette myself you know so i didn't have to keep this with me but i'll just see but look at this guys this is just gorgeous it is freaking gorgeous it's so beautiful I, I don't even know where to begin like i don't even know where to begin guys this is this is nuts this is crazy but um yeah all right so i'm gonna start off with this shade right here and i'm gonna put that all over the crease 
I like that these are for like the crease, like you know, it has like transition shades. And this shade right there is called Define Me. So I'm going to put that all over the crease. Alright, so now going back into the palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. It is called Create, and I'm going to put that all over the crease as well. Just like blend it all in with the shade that I just used. Alright, so now I'm going to go into this shade right here which is called Passion. I'm going to put that towards the outer corner of my crease. I'm not going to bring it all in. I'm just going to, you know, in the outer corner. And now an even darker shade, uh, which is right next to it, and it's called Forever. And I'm going to erase the... Let me just show you. That's what it looks like, that shade. I'm going to put that on the outer corner as well, just to like give it more depth and yeah, I was going to say more depth and volume, but just more depth in it general. Alright, so now I'm going to use two different colors on the lid and they're both metallic shimmeries and they're so pretty. Let me like swatch them for you guys sorry that my camera is moving but look at that they're so pretty those are some pretty colors i'm gonna put that both in my lid i want to it's so bold and out of my comfort zone i don't usually do things like this like you should see what i have planned to put on my lid on my lid on my waterline it's like jennifer what are you thinking is this even gonna look good but Let's hope it does. I just want to like play with it and you know do something that I normally wouldn't do with my makeup. So yes. So let's begin. All right. So the first shade I'm gonna take is this one right here, which is called the trendy, and I'm gonna put that towards the center of my lid, trying to blend it in with the shades that I put in the outer crease, outer corner of my crease. Yes. Can't talk. Can I? Maybe I could. I learned how to. Done with the brushes, going in with the finger. Alright, so now I'm going to take this shade right here, this one right here, which is called, what are you called? You are called Snatched. It's called Snatched. I don't use that word ever. But for the sake of this video, Snatched is going on my lid. So we're going to put that right here. So I'm done with the palette for now. I'm going to clean this mess that I have going all over around my eyes. And then I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I actually bought two new eyeliners and I don't know which one to use. So I'm going to look at them. And they're from NYX. I've been, um, I've been on the search for a new like black liquid eyeliner. and Because I bought one a couple of weeks ago. It was from Kiko and it was like horrible. It was so freaking watery. Like there was no payoff whatsoever on the lid. So I was kind of, no, not kind of. I was definitely upset about that because that pencil was not cheap. But um, so the other day I went to uh, the store and they had a NYX section. And um, so I picked up two eyeliners. I have the, oh, I should like look at the box. I have the NYX Professional, oh. Uh, the epic ink liner and it's waterproof and then I have the that's the point hella fine artistry liner and they're both in black so I'm gonna have to like look at the tip and see which one I want to use I really want that's the point maybe that's the one I'm gonna use oh my god that is so fine and thin ah oh, look at that that it's great oh my god I'm probably gonna use this one 
I don't know. This is like my first time opening them, so I was like, I'm so like surprised. Something right here hurts. Oh, I like this one too. Oh my god, I don't know which one to use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna clean this up, and I'm gonna put on eyeliner off camera because it's gonna take me a while. And yes, so I'll be. All right, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner. I have to say, I really like these two eyeliners. They're pigmented. They're black. I really like them. I'm loving them so far. I'm so glad I bought them. They're like so easy to use. And so now I'm going to go on and prime the face. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this right here, which is the Dr. Brand Pores No More Luminizer Primer. This is my second time trying anything. I haven't even used makeup at all like since my last video, which was my Boxy Charm unboxing, I believe. I have not used any kind of um makeup whatsoever all right after that's done i'm gonna go in with my touch of luminous dewy, dewy skin mist and i'm gonna spritz my face with it now i'm gonna go in and open this the beauty sponge from morphe the highlight and contour and i'm gonna go jam it up I like it. It's cute. I'm gonna go damp this, give it a squeeze, and I'll be right back to start mixing foundations. All right. So before I start applying my foundation, I'm gonna color correct my under eyes just a little bit. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to move on to foundation, and I'm going to use two different foundations today. They're the same brand, same foundation, but different colors, and it's these two. I'm finally going to mix them. It's the Superstay uh, foundation from Maybelline. I have the shade 128 Warm Nude, and then 220 not Natural Beige. So I felt like Natural Beige was too dark for me, and then Warm Nude was too light. Not crazy, crazy bad, but I just like thought that maybe if I mixed them... It'd be a better color for my skin. So I'm going to mix them today and see how it all goes. Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going to take this right here, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Medium Light Neutral. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Alright, I'm going to go quickly go ahead and set this concealer with my airspun. Uh, loose face powder and yes all right now I'm gonna go into my makeup no my studio makeup uh translucent powder and I'm going to use that to brighten up the under eye because all right so while that happens I'm going to go and take this right here which is the Hula Benefit bronzer and I'm going to use that to bronze up the face obviously Alright, so now for highlight, I'm going to go into this right here. You can't really see it, but it's the Pure Bronze and Brighton palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. I really like the highlight on this palette. And I'm going to use that for my face. Oh 
Oh my god, I I honestly live for this. All right, so now for blush, I'm gonna go into this right here, which is the blush and bronzer mini palette. You guys know I always use this for some reason. Don't know why, but I do. And I'm just gonna mix two blushes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off a camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna take this pencil right here, which is the scandalized waterproof eyeliner from Rimmel London. I'm gonna put that on the waterline. Okay. Alright, so now to finish off the waterline, I'm gonna go back into the Morphe Dare to Create 39.8 palette and I am going to take a sheer, a sheer. I'm gonna take this color right here. It's a blue, which is called indigo, and I'm gonna smudge that all over the lower lash line. I'm excited. Should I give you guys a swatch of it? Look at it. Oh, I'm so excited for it. All right. Alright, so now I'm going to take another shade right here, which is another blue, but it's more metallic, and this is called Dare Me, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line as well. Alright, now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this right here, which is the Dose of Colors um, highlight with uh, Desi and Katie Mirame. It's called Mirame, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Okay, so on in the palette there's a black and it's called Muse and I'm gonna take that with a liner brush and I'm gonna put it all over the wing just to mattify the wing a bit okay okay all right so now I'm gonna go pop on some falsies attempt i haven't tried them on in a while so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back to finish off the lip okay so now i'm gonna go in with this right here which is the kylie jenner velvet liquid lipstick in savage and i am going to put that on my lips guys these eyelashes are so weird i don't know why we even wear eyelashes All right, guys, um, this completes this look. Um, I really like it. I really like this palette. I think it's so pretty, so well thought out, and it's really pigmented. Uh, well, the colors that I used were pigmented. I really enjoyed it. I had fun using it, um, and I don't really have any... Oh, I really like those eyeliners. I think they were a bomb. I mean, yeah, really good compared to that Kiko one. It was just horrible, but these are great, and like the other stuff... You've already seen me use it a bunch of times, so no comments on that. But I really like how this turned out. It does remind me a little bit of a 4th of July kind of look because like of the reddish lid and then the blue eyeliner, I mean lower lash line, and then the inner corner looks, I don't know, it just, I don't know. But I really like it. It's not something that I would normally wear, you know, or like look, I mean like a do. But I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys like it as well. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of it. Have you tried out this palette? Um, yeah, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.